Good morning and welcome to Monday and another weekly reading vlog. I am knackered this morning. I went out for a walk first thing to try and wake myself up a bit because it was blue skies and clear and crisp. Now it is cloudy so I'm glad I went then. But honestly my head is just in the clouds at the moment. I think there's a mix of stress with the house stuff going on and like trying to get the dates for the flat and just trying to actually know when I'm doing things. I'm a planner and I cannot plan this because I've planned and planned and planned but the dates keep changing so I can't really keep planning until I actually know the dates so that's super fun but um a mix of that but also I'm finding my OCD is flaring up a little bit at the moment because everything over the past 11 years I've been trying to train my brain not to think like coronavirus has now got me thinking like it so I've been trying to tell myself you know not everything you touch is evil you don't have to wash your hands every five minutes and now I'm just like no I do and everything I touch is just scary so that's really fun <laughs> I'm really glad that that's happening so I feel a little bit mentally weighed down with that at the moment but that's fine probably not gonna vlog too much today either I'll probably pick this up more properly on Tuesday because I just want to focus on work stuff I'm gonna do a bit of my diploma read my book but I don't think anything particularly exciting is gonna to happen today unless I get my move-in date which is just not gonna happen <laughs> I don't think I'll hear back about that until like Wednesday-ish but girl can dream so hi when you last spoke to me i was watching i wasn't watching i was reading clap new land by elizabeth acevedo i've actually decided to put that one down for now because it's got some quite heavy themes in it um there's a dad at the start that dies in a plane crash and i don't really want to be reading a book at the moment that makes me question mortality and how easily we can die because that kind of <laughs> makes my ocd worse it's more it's difficult to explain if you've got ocd or if you've got these kind of feelings you'll know what i mean but it just I can't pinpoint it but it's not really the right book for me to read at the moment so I've put it back on my shelf because I really liked The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo so I do really want to read it because I love her writing style however I need to read it at a lighter period in my life but what I did pick up was this which is Mr Pembra's 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan this is a book lover's marketer's dream of a book it's about a guy who works in marketing and is basically out of a job and needs to find another job so he goes and finds this job at this 24 hour bookshop and he covers the night shift and there's some weird stuff there's some weird customers there's some weird books that seem to have like codes hidden in the pages and he's just trying to work it all out but he's also trying to get customers to the shop so he does a couple of things like using google adwords and using keywords and things and i've never read a book where the main character knows marketing stuff because i work in this area and i actually know what he's talking about partially so it's quite enjoyable to read from that perspective as well so i'm really enjoying this very very short so it shouldn't be too long to get through but I am savouring it because I really like the writing style it's very easy to fall into and feel lost because of this bookshop world it's all pretty much just set in the bookshop but I'm enjoying that setting and the familiarity of it and I've got it mapped out in my head and I would like to go visit this bookshop because it sounds weird and I want to properly understand how it's laid out and stuff but I'm really enjoying this I am picking this up whenever I can so like when I was brushing my teeth I was reading a little bit more of it so it's definitely a winner also I bought a new plant. <laughs> Yesterday I had a really lovely day. I basically nipped out in the morning and I had to get a couple of bits and also found the plant that I've been looking for for ages. I, for context, I really want a big plant, like the biggie, because all the plants I've got are medium to small size plants. And when I move, I want to have like one really nice big one, but I couldn't find one that I wanted. I couldn't find one that was the right kind of style. And then a couple of weeks ago I was in Marks and Spencers and they had this really lovely peace lily in a wicker basket and I looked at it and I was like yes I'm gonna get that but I'm not gonna get it yet I'm gonna get it closer to the time so I left it I went back to get it a couple of weeks ago or like a week ago and it was like the only one left was dead pretty much which was sad I possibly could have revived it but also for the price it was I didn't want to get one that was already dead so I went back yesterday just for other bits and they had and it was alive I'm gonna show you this is my peace lily I think I need to give it a name I've currently got it in this little stand I pulled it out because I took a photo of it but I bought this stand from TK Maxx a while ago for a plant to go on and I love it peace lilies are meant to be very good for purifying the toxins in the air sorry that was a lazy shot um, they're meant to be very good for pur purifying the toxins in the air and I just wanted one Simon Pegg in Hot Fuzz has a piece of Lily and he absolutely loves it so hopefully I'll be as happy as Simon Pegg in Hot Fuzz because we all know he's thrilled on that film we also went for a really lovely walk around a forest yesterday which I adored I love forest walks particularly when you can't see where you're going not that sounds weird like I like to be able to see where I'm going but I don't want to see the end of the path essentially because I find that boring whereas we just took left we took right we just got lost in the woods and it was pretty brilliant so we did that for like an hour and a half 
which was really really nice and then we watched a film and we got back which was good also I watched Knives Out on Saturday night <sighs> really really good seen a lot of people didn't like it I loved it I thought the cinematography and the editing was fantastic and it created this really creepy eclectic vibe it was very brown green dark colors and I thought it was done really well I did guess exactly to the T what was going to happen about 20 to 30 minutes in which was semi annoying but also like I'm very good at guessing plots for who done it and on one hand I like it because it can make me feel smug and be like well I guess this is gonna happen but on the other hand I'd love it if one surprised me so um if you've got any recommendations please do drop them down below I'm gonna go catch up with uh I'm not gonna catch up with anything I'm gonna go do the rest of my work stuff for the day I might not catch up with you for the rest of the day because as I said yeah don't really think there's anything magical happening today but I will let you know if there does but if there is I uh, can't even speak if not I will speak to you on Tuesday. Good morning, just about. It's Tuesday and I've had a nice slow start to my day today before I started work because I just read in bed and then did not want to vacate said bed because I'm reading this at the moment, Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookshop, bookstore, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm about halfway through, just, just before halfway. It's such an easy read, but at the same time, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of stuff like to do with code and things that I don't necessarily understand but I'm following along with the basic premise of it. I'm gonna give myself some credit there. There's a mystery involved as well, so I'm intrigued as to where the plot is going. We're leaving the bookstore, and I said yesterday I think that I really enjoyed the fact that it was all set in a bookstore. We're leaving the bookstore. We're gonna potentially be going to a different setting entirely, which will be interesting, but I'm really enjoying it. My mum just started vacuuming. I think she does that every time I like to start filming. But I don't really have a crazy amount on today again. I don't have any flat news yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like this vlog is just going to be me waiting for flat news, but I feel like my life is on hold at the moment until I have this stuff. There's so many things I'm waiting to do. Why am I still holding this book up? There's so many things I'm waiting to do and I just can't do them yet. So yeah, I've kept, kept doing my diploma for work and stuff and I'm really enjoying doing that and learning again. The pressure of having to remember it all is now back from when I was doing my A-levels and my degree and things and now I'm like, ah, uh, how do you revise? I don't even know what kind of an exam it is at the end. I don't know if it's multiple choice. I don't know if it's like essay type things I've got no idea which would be really helpful to know because that would change the way I'm making my notes probably so I'm gonna go do the rest of that I will catch up with you later I'm a little bit more awake today a little bit but not massively again I'm just struggling with sleep because my brain is so active and busy woo but I did brief well there there but I did briefly this morning film another video for like three weeks in advance I think I'm working now. Basically I've filmed in advance by three weeks but then everything got pushed forward, back, forward, into the future by like a week or two at best. So now all the content I've pre-filmed I didn't need to pre-film if that makes sense. I mean I did need to pre-film it at some point but I'm trying to get back ahead of myself in case they're like yeah it's gonna be in two weeks that you move so I've still got content covered because <laughs> we found a bee yesterday. My mum found a bee and she gave him the sugar water consistency. And then this morning he was still there, so we've given him some more, and we've been keeping an eye on him, and he's kind of set up a little house under this little bucket. Oh, can't point in mirrored version. Ah, bucket, there. See, there he is, can you see him moving about? And we're not really sure what's wrong with him. We don't know if he's missing a wing or if his wings are broken. His legs seem to be okay? Honestly, no clue, but we're trying to help Gordon. We've named him Gordon because I asked my mum what Sting's full name was and it's Gordon apparently. I don't know if that's true or she was winding me up, but he's called Gordon after Sting because bees sting, but they're also very cute and lovely and very vital to our world and the circle of life. So we like bees, we save the bees. And yeah, he's just chilling really. So yeah, enjoy this footage of Gordon the bee who we've named after Sting. He's a rock star. So we've currently got the window clean around and I really didn't want him to clean this window and not notice Gordon, so I've got this little sign. Yes, Gordon, oh, go into the sign. Um, That's my drawing of Gordon with felt him. It's not very good, but yeah, he's protected. <laughs> Start your computations. Hello, it is evening of 
Wednesday. Why did I say it like that? It's Wednesday evening, but I got some book mail that I wanted to show you. I haven't been getting quite as much book mail recently because I've been quite restrained. This is not one I purchased myself either, so this kind of doesn't count as book mail, but it is book mail. I didn't buy it, so I consider that a win for my bank account. I'm not on a ban or anything, but anyway, this is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. This is her new book. It's completely separate from the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, which is perfect because I really like her writing style and I wanted a different type of storyline from her. And I'm so excited to read this. This was very kindly sent to me by Hoddersgate. Thank you guys very much. And I'm so excited to get through to this. I love the arc. I'm so happy that I have this in my hands. It came with some pasta as well that I get to make for an Instagram post. And I can't cook, so we'll see how that comes out. But book. Books came in the mail with recipes for pasta. Yay. I need to go and eat dinner now um, and sort some flat stuff out because dates might actually be being given to me. So, woo. So I will um, probably not catch up with you guys later. But this was a really quick insert saying, happy Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I said I wouldn't film anymore today, but look at that. Can you, can you see it? Like, look at that sunset. I came out for a cycle. Wear your helmets, kids. Helmets are important. And that's stunning. I don't normally bring my phone with me for cycles, but I wanted to get some nice photos. So lovely sunset footage inserted here. Needed to clear my head a bit. I had a lot of stuff going on with house things that I just, I just needed to get out and clear my head because yeah, but beautiful. kind of afternoon I'm about to make some pasta for lunch because I need to do a promo shoot for Kingdom of the Wicked so pasta for lunch it is because apparently this book is all about food also as a reading update I finished Mr Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore last night absolutely adored this it's just brilliant coding marketing book-ish combination with a complete mystery behind it contemporary mystery genres and I just absolutely adored it. I really liked it. I liked it because there was a message at the end as well and I enjoy books that come together to form some good moral message. I gave this one four out of five stars. It, it might have been a 4.5 on Corpile but it was really highly rated. I absolutely adored the writing style as well. It just felt cosy and familiar and just really enjoyable. So this one I finished which means that today I can start this one, which I'm so excited about. This is Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Malascalco. Got this one yesterday through the post, and yeah, this is why I'm gonna be making my pasta. Not quite sure how I'm gonna do this yet, but I think I'm gonna make like a reel of the pasta making promotion type thing, and then also a photo for Instagram, because yeah, apparently this book makes you quite hungry. I also got some mail. This is, okay, from the side it looks like those little wafer crackers things you can get. This is a little set of coasters that are sent to me through from Aoife. And Aoife is an Instagram follower of mine and she messaged me asking if she could make me some custom coasters for my flat. And she did, and I'm so touched. So I wanted to do a little unboxing, well, unwrapping of these because they're beautifully packaged with this lovely coloured bow and show you what she's made. I feel so bad undoing the bow, but... This is so lovely. I love these little custom touches that I can have in my flat. So the first one we've got is a little diamond with some sunflowers on it and some little foliage around them. I absolutely love it. We know I love the sunflowers. Oh, sorry, the lighting's gonna go funny because I'm gonna be going from one to the other, zooming in. Then we've got another sunflower pattern, which I love. So we've got sunflowers with a circle and again, the little green foliage around them. These are just so cute. I love them so much. And then this one is the sun with a little sunflower in the corner. You notice in the theme here, I've got my yellow love in there as well. And then this one is the moon with some little foliage, a little tiny sunflower. Yeah, little tiny sunflower there as well. They're so cute and I am so thankful. So thank you so very much, Aoife. This is absolutely so kind of you. And she also included a little teeny bookmark as well that she's made, which is just really sweet of her. So 
that is absolutely lovely. I'm, I feel so touched that someone wanted to do this for me. These are gonna be my lounge coasters when I have a coffee table, which is the last piece of furniture I have to actually buy. But I do have currently a move date. This could change, but at the moment it's the 25th, which is a lot later than I thought. That's a whole month after what I was originally told, but that's fine, that's a date. I have a date, it's in two weeks time, which means I can actually start working towards something, which is really great, so woo. I've also got my Luma crate to unbox, so I'm gonna do that as well at the same time as trying to sort out lunch and all these other things. So not at the same time as cooking, but like in my lunch break, I've got quite a few things to do. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'll speak to you later. You're a little bit far away because you are perched on my bookshelf, but it's Thursday evening and I'm running a bath. Actually, my mum's running me a bath because she runs the best baths. And I wanna sit in it and read for a little bit and just, relax in hot water because my back is really hurting me. I filmed my Luma Crate unboxing earlier this afternoon and I was sat on the edge of my bed where I normally am when I film my videos. There's no back support like that, similarly to how I'm sat now, but it just really hurt. I wasn't filming for any more than about 10 minutes, but this is the fun of having scoliosis. You don't know what's necessarily gonna trigger your back to hurt. For example, washing up is something that really hurts my back because of the way that I curve over. And I went for a walk after work and I got about halfway around and I started having a bit heavier breathing and struggling a little bit because what my spine can do is push against my internal organs so it can push against my lungs, fun. And I had to just stop for a second because I was in quite a lot of pain and ended up cutting my walk short and just walking home in the quickest route possible. So that was fun. And I just got home and went on and sat on the sofa for about an hour and a half and now I'm gonna have a bath. So yay, basically all that to say, excuse this angle, I didn't wanna hold the camera up because I just wanted to sit for a second. But I've been reading a little bit more of Kingdom of the Wicked and I mean, actually the last time I spoke to you I hadn't even started yet, I don't think. And I'm really enjoying it. The rich food descriptions in it are just brilliant. It's, I think it's set in Italy. I literally am only like 20 pages in. One of my questions in my head was, is it set in Italy or is it just an Italian restaurant in another country? But I'm pretty sure it's set in Italy. And I absolutely love the food in Italy. It's just beautiful, the attention to flavors and the way that good food is good food. It's just so delicious. And reading this book is definitely, yeah, eating the pasta earlier that I made from the recipe that came with the book was a good choice because it is it, it makes you hungry and now I am still full. So I will make some sort of snacky dinner later, I think. But I'm gonna go and have a bath. I'm hopefully gonna make my back feel a little bit better. Sorry about this weird ass angle where I'm in like the corner of my frame, but here we are. Might show you some cozy shots of my bath. Who knows? If not, then I'll see you for a working in bed day on Friday, except I've got a really important work meeting at two o'clock, so I will then get out of bed. Although, it's not a video call meeting, it's just voices, so maybe, you know, they'll never know. Hmm. This angle is not gonna work. Hello? Is that better? Kind of? You have, you're rested on a book and on my bed and you can see it on the bottom of the frame, but we're gonna go with it. This is the vlog of many different setups of my camera angle because I, um, Cannot be bothered to put my camera on my tripod because my tri tripod is put away. But hi, it's Friday. And did I say to you that my back was hurting me yesterday because it's still painful and I woke up with a headache. So I've taken some painkillers, but sitting in my chair right now, it's just, it, it's not going well for me. I'm not enjoying sitting in the chair. It is not the feelings I need around my body right now. But I got book mail yesterday that I forgot to share with you because it was hidden under something in the post and I didn't know it was there until like eight. So I got A Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown and whoo -hoo, this is the fairy loot edition. I wanted to read this book as soon as I found out about it and I've seen loads of people love it. And it's just been a case of waiting for this edition to arrive because I wanted to get the fairy loot one because it's beautiful. Those green edges. Oh, and the spine, the whole thing, amazing. I'm gonna read you the blurb if you guys wanna hear that because I've realized I keep reading books and not telling you what they're about. And the reason for that is because I tend to pick my books by reading the blurb, finding out about them, adding them to some kind of wish list, and then getting them when I can or buying them in a shop. When I then pick to read the book, I don't tend to read the blurbs because sometimes the blurbs have spoilers in them. And there's a couple of books I've read 
where the blurb has spoil what's happened at like page 50 and I don't want that so I tend to allow myself to forget about the blurb and then just pick the book up not blind but semi-blind because I don't fully know what's happening so that's why I don't often give you guys full descriptions <laughs> but I will read you the blurb of this one because I've seen a lot of people read this and it just sounds fantastic and me summarising it is just going to be poop so we're just going to read this out loud. For Malik, the Solstice Deer Festival is a chance to escape his war-stricken home and, a star and start a new life with his sisters in the prosperous desert city of Zaran. But when a vengeful spirit abducts Malik's younger sister, Nadia, as payment to enter the city, Malik strikes a fatal deal. Strikes a fatal deal kill Karina, crown princess of Ziran, in exchange for Nadia's freedom. But Karina has deadly aspirations of her own. Her mother, the Sultana, has been assassinated and her court threatens mutiny. And Solstasia, Solstasia? Solstasia, like Solstice, I assume, looms like a knife over her neck. Grief-stricken, Karina decides to resurrect her mother through an ancient magic, requiring a beating heart of a king, and she knows how to obtain one by offering her hand in marriage to the victor of the Solstasia competition. When Malik rigs his way into the contest, he and Karina are set on a heart-pounding course to destroy each other, but as attraction flares between them and ancient evils stir, will they be able to see their tasks to death? The will- oh my god, I can't read, sorry. Will they be able to see their tasks to the death? I love the sound of it. I'm so excited. In fact, I might try and pick this up this month if I can get through the other books that I really know I need to slash want to read this month, but I'm very excited. So this is the Fairy Loot beautiful exclusive edition that is it signed as well? There's a book plate. I need to stick that in. So signed book plate. I hate the pressure of sticking these in anyone else because I just make them wonky. And also I never know what page it's meant to go on when you have bigger text. Do I put it there? Do I put it there? I don't know. I'm going to have stuck it in by the time you guys get back to this. Do I put it in there? There's a map. I'm excited. Right, I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, do some more work now, but uh, it's Friday. I'm really enjoying King of the Wicked. I'm trying to read 50 pages a day again. I used to do this. I don't know if I even did this in my world of vlogging, but before I started vlogging maybe, I tried to read 50 pages every day and that was working really well for me and I was finishing loads of books and then lockdown happened and just threw everything out of whack for me routine wise and I've stopped reading quite as much and I want to read more because I've got so many books I want to get to, so yeah. What the hell is happening? I just, I'm a mess today. My hair is a mess, my face is a mess because I couldn't be bothered today because, um, headache. <laughs> I need the weekend. Hello guys, good morning. It is Saturday. It is 11.29 in the morning, still the morning. I have just filmed three videos, <laughs> which is quite a lot. I have done, I'm not gonna tell you what they are. Oh, I was gonna tell you, no, because you'll be watching this before they go live. I'm really trying to get on top of my content because now I potentially have my move day of the 25th, which is in two weeks time. And I just want to know all my content is taken care of so that I don't have to rush the moving process to be able to film more because I don't want to just be filming against a white echoey wall because that will not be good. So I want to be moved in properly when I film my next videos. So I filmed three today. I'm excited about them. I might try and film another one later. So I've just really, really got the rest of this month and next taken care of. I'm feeling productive. I've also read, I'm up to like page 150-ish of Kingdom of the Wicked. As I said yesterday, I think, did I say it yesterday? I've been a really bad vlogger this week, but I really want to read 50 pages a day. So I'm trying to do that and I've read nearly 50 today. So I should read maybe hundred today. My battery's gonna die. I'll catch up with you later. I've come back where my battery isn't about to die. I'm currently wearing a temporary outfit because I've just filmed my fourth video for the day. They're not going live today, but I'm trying to pre-plan everything for when I'm moved. And this was my autumnal video. So I've got an autumnal jumper on. There's a little sneak peek for you. But I think I just filmed my last video in this room. Obviously I'm gonna have my weekly vlogs still, but because I've now filmed four videos and I've already got two now scheduled, that's gonna take me a month and a half into the future, which is more planned than I've ever been. But I don't think I'm gonna be filming another video unless I come up with a good idea, or I might have a fairy loot unboxing if that arrives before I move. Maybe, I don't know, but I feel kind of sad about it to be honest because there's so many lovely spots to be able to sit and film in this room and one of the things that I keep thinking about with the move is I'm really excited but also I have such a nice bedroom here and I am really worried that in voluntarily moving myself away from it I'm going to lose this nice space. I know I'm going to have a whole flat to cultivate to be my own space but it's just quite nice this space that I've taken over the past three years and molded to be my own 
space for the first time ever really because where we used to live I had a very 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 small bedroom so it was more of a necessity than decoration that everything was there and it was also painted bright yellow and bright green every wall which was great when I was 12 but not so much when I was an adult so this is my adult bedroom and it feels really sad but I'm not going to be sad I'm going to go and edit a little bit of this footage it's really beautifully sunny out and we've got our swinging bench with our cushions on it for one final weekend so I'm going to go outside and read Kingdom of the Wicked a little bit more and enjoy the weekend so I will catch up with you guys later when I have done a little bit more reading and let you know my progress of Kingdom of the Wicked also The Hobbit I have barely spoken to you about I'm 150 pages in so I think I've got about 150 slash 100 left because the whole book isn't the whole story I, it's over there oh, otherwise I would get it but I think that there's a lot at the end that is not actually part of The Hobbit so I'm not too far off being done I'm really enjoying reading along with the audiobook I've written down a lot of thoughts so I'm excited for when we do the live show on Instagram got no idea when that'll be now because the move is just throwing everything out of whack but I just yeah I've got a lot happening I'm feeling excited and emotional but I'm gonna go edit and read some books there comes a time on a Saturday when you need to stop making content and just edit the content you already have that time also mirrors itself nicely with when your hair has done this from the amount of times you've pushed it out of your face that time is now I filmed four videos, I'm editing video number two, and yet I'm still making reels. Stop. I, oh God, see, see, see. I wanted to make, take some Instagram photos, but video content has happened instead. And I've got enough Instagram photos for like another week and two weeks. We're fine, we're good. <laughs> just so you driving into the insanity hole of vlog editing and video editing and reel editing and creating thumbnails for reels and stuff and uh, I'm gonna go sit outside in a minute I think because I have read my 50 pages for the day of Kingdom of the Wicked but I want to read more because what the hell's happening what 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 the hell is happening it's great I really like it but what the hell is happening once again I have left it until the end of Saturday to wrap up this vlog <laughs> whoops it is Saturday night we've just watched Jumanji uh, whatever the first one was called of the newer ones it's a funny film, it's a funny film, also I quite like Nick Jonas in it as well, so it's a good film. We're gonna watch the second one at some point later in the week. I really wanted to watch I'm Thinking of Ending Things tonight, which is a new film on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix, it's somewhere, and it's by these same people that made Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and Being John Malkovich, I think, I want to say it's that one. And both of those films are really good, so definitely want to watch that one, but I don't know if we've got time tonight. I, I say I don't know if we've got time like it's it's 8 30 I could watch it but whether or not my mum and stepdad are also going to want to watch that now because I won't finish until a bit later and they go to bed earlier than I do so I don't know maybe we'll watch that tomorrow but I wanted to wrap up the vlog because I want to go have a shower I also still need to edit two videos and I really wanted to do that today I don't know why but I just wanted to take it off my list so I finished one book this week which was Mr Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore I think I said in the vlog I gave it four stars I've actually since upped that to five stars whilst writing my review because I just really really liked it and it deserved five stars I'm in the middle of both The Hobbit and also Kingdom of the Wicked read more of Kingdom of the Wicked today since I spoke to you guys last and it's really good it's got kind of Sarah J Mass vibes in the whole like way that I think the possible romance might be going really liking it I'm probably gonna read a bunch of that tomorrow because hopefully if I can do my edits I've got nothing to do tomorrow day off Woo! and it's meant to be really hot so I'm just gonna sit outside and read but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this reading vlog if you did like watching it please give it a thumbs up comment down below of course or if you want to see more of my face on your feed you can subscribe thank you guys very much for joining me for a very very productive day as well and I will speak to you in the next reading vlog thank you so much keep smiling and stay positive